All right, welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. I have not played this game in quite some time. Um, last was uh, when I was working on school still, but now that I'm done that, I'm uh, getting ready for the fall term, which I believe is coming up this week. Um, at least the week that this is getting published, anyway. Is it? No, it's next week. It's next week. Um... Because I'm completely out of videos, and uh, I'm supposed to be looking for someone's sister here. It's another side quest. Um, was it like up there? Is it just? Is it just up above me a bit more, please? I don't want to. Okay. Um, I don't want to be stuck here the whole time. So we're gonna do this, and we're gonna move on with the story, right? What am I One even of looking for? Oh. Records of Pilev's evacuation. We couldn't figure out where Mert's sister went. Okay. It's a long shot, but worth data a pad. Try. Maybe on this data pad. Hope. Uh, da, da, da. Doesn't seem like it. Platinum back there. Cables. This thing. Could use these to reroute power to that console. Okay. Did we do it? I, I mean, I hit, I did it. Just gonna grab this first, I guess. Uh, you're still showing as the thing. Okay, now it's... Now it's not? There, following that. Where's that go? Let's go left. What, is it supposed to be doing that? Like, really weird? Old generator. Might still work. That should get that okay, try again. again. Oh, come on. Stupid tiny windows. Um, so I had some stuff I've been keeping to myself for quite some time about uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, I recently received the go ahead. What the fuck? It's fucking weird. This must be her. They moved her across the Um, downloading information. Okay, okay, and we're done, right? Okay, good. We don't have to go find her. Um, I can return that to him when I'm done the main story line shit. I don't really feel like making my way all the way over there. I'm hoping these are just random enemies down below me. Looks like it. You're not very strong. I'm just gonna finish you off for whatever experience or whatever it is I get. Um, by the way, I have changed up my weapons. I'm now using the N7 Valkyrie. Uh, I'm just gonna go through and use all the different guns, because, I mean, why wouldn't I? I, uh... I'm not too worried about being in, like, severe danger here. I, uh, I, I figured I'll just show each one off, and maybe they've changed up stuff a little bit, and I can figure out whether I still dislike the gun, or if I actually enjoy it a bit more now. For example, right now I'm using the revolver. Um, it's alright. doesn't have a whole ton of kick, which is nice. I always find I have that issue with revolvers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still trying for the, uh, the floating achievement while I'm up in the air killing people. Um, so I'm just gonna fast travel to the next objective. I'll meet you guys over there in a minute. Okay, we're back here with, uh, our Rokar friend. Who's not gonna talk to us? Hello? Are you better be kidding me? I don't know what's happening. Do I have to do something? Holy crap! Is it because we're in combat? I hope so. I just have to. If that wasn't just completely crap. <laughs> it helps if I steal my mind. Okay, okay. I've been here before. Familiar. One, two, three. Indentations. Pomia. So you're going to help us fight, or are you just going to leave? It worked. Wow. So we might need you at the top. Eh. <laughs> you really could have done a better job with that tracker moving there, but whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, uh, I was part of a 
few EA tests where they were testing the gameplay for Mass Effect. Um, I did both some multiplayer and some single player. I uh, wanted to talk about it much sooner, but uh, I wasn't able to get a hold of anyone at EA to tell me that it was okay to talk about with all the uh, the whole NDA thing. Um, they just recently changed theirs. It used to be stuff like you couldn't talk about the game for two years, uh, which included sometimes even after it had been published. And now some of them are just after, just until after they're published. So in the case of this game, I was given the go ahead by someone I contacted uh, who was assured that I was able to talk about it. Um, there's a couple things I can't talk about, but that's it's nothing related to the actual game. Um, are you just taking your sweet fucking time over there? Okay. Uh, so the I think the the first thing I tested was a uh, was a portion of the story. Um, I think the very beginning, actually, and it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't in a complete state. Uh, there were there were people with like dual heads and stuff where just like the models hadn't been implemented properly. Why is, why is there one more voice here? The sages got it wrong. Zorai was a woman. That that was a voice. My voice. Okay. May I have this pathfinder? Have what? It's yours. The flies? Oh, yours. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. <sighs> Stop it. Organic matter. Oh, that's that's her body. It's Zorai. Okay. She died here before she could get to the third monolith. This this was me. I would like to spend some time here. Okay, just just don't back. die. The third oh, all right. Can't be far. It's not on. this way. Okay. Um. So yeah. So I played the uh, the opening on board the. Uh, this way. The ship, yes. which I am blanking on the memory of because I haven't played this game in like two months. Um, I know it's not the Tempest. I mean, I could say the Ark. It's the Ark? It is the Ark. It's the human Ark. And the Nexus, the big one. Alright, good. I've remembered. Uh, is this a Sam memory? No, this is an activity thing. Any chests around nearby? I feel like maybe. No. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I was testing the very first area. I was testing a plant that we haven't been to yet. I'll mention that when we finally get to it. Um, there were, of course, some bugs. It was very funny to me to see, uh, to see, like, a Krogan speaking with the voice of, like, Microsoft Sam, because they didn't have all the voice acting done and stuff. It was very early in the, in the stages where we were testing it. Um, at least those parts of the game were. Uh, the second part that I tested was multiplayer, which is a lot more fun. Um, we were set up in a in a couple teams to, to work together cooperatively, and we played out and tested all the maps that way. Um, there were a couple things that I noticed that I wanted to see if they actually changed in the final game and hoped they would have changed, uh, but I haven't played those maps just yet. Um, I will remember to take note of that, whether or not they have, when, uh, when I finally do get around to playing some more multiplayer, because I haven't played that in quite some time. I've been doing a lot of the uh, the Apex missions, though. I just kind of set them up on my phone every couple hours. It's like 2, 4, 6, and 10 every 12 hours. So 2 in the morning, 2 p.m., and just repeats. Uh, usually you get like one it's or done. two missions every time. You finished with Zora, I could not so long ago. That was it? I'm sorry, It was Thomas. not hard. No, there's nothing to be sorry about. She didn't complete what she set out to do, but she didn't fail. The two monoliths she reactivated kept her vial going. Without them, the planet would have died. Go on to the vault, Pathfinder. I think I'll stay here a moment. I have a lot to think about. Yeah, like maybe stop being a terrorist dick. You gonna... Know, wanna elaborate on that? No? Okay. Um, so yeah, so it was cool to do the testing. Uh, EA just kind of does like a... A general call for for fans of different game genres and different game series uh, even if you're not familiar with them uh, which is nice like 
uh, you don't have to be a, a fan of Mass Effect to test it necessarily. Um, and they're looking for people who are like, even if you're a fan but you're not good, they're looking for like all skill levels and stuff. It's a, it's a fun kind of program that they do, I really enjoy my time having been there. I've been there a couple times for different things. Um, and then of course you usually are rewarded with a, a game or two, depending on how long you're there. Um, and I think, I think there's, I can't remember if there's four or five different testing areas. I know there's one in California, there's one up here in Vancouver. Um, what am I scanning for? That thing? Oh, just the light? Is that it? Gained a hundred remnant research data, okay. What are you? Oh, just chest. Mine. Um, yeah, so those, uh, Pathfinder rewards, I have, uh... I have gotten a lot of shit. Um, I don't... Oh, I can show you my inventory. Uh, I did, unfortunately, find out that, for whatever reason, um, I think the top level here is level 3 for each weapon. I don't have level 3 of everything quite yet. Um, these, I think, are stuck at level 1 unless I make them stronger. Uh, but I've got pretty much most of the weapons in the game. Um, I think I've got just about everything I can get from each of the boxes. Uh, each different level. Um, including the melee ones. You can only have, like, like one of each. Or, you only need one of each, because, unfortunately, you cannot customize your squad mates in any way. Um, I just want to check and make sure I had a Krogan hammer there. I thought I... Yeah, I do. Um, so, unfortunately, I can't give my Krogan hammer to my Krogan squad mate. For whatever reason, I have no control over their, um, their weapons, just their skills in combat. Um, which kind of bugs me. As someone who's played each of these games, it's it's become a bit more streamlined each time. Um, and I don't know how much of a fan I am of that. Uh, from from one to two was a bit of a good adjustment. I feel they uh, there was a lot going on in number one. It was very much an RPG. Uh, you had to pay a lot of attention to your stats and different weapons to some degree. I mean, you could still just power through stuff. I'm just standing on the ground there. Um, so, I feel like the the second game was a good uh, interpretation of how much customization should be done, but you could still customize your squad mates' weapons and their abilities and tell them what to do in combat and things like that. And if a bunch, fight a bunch of people, I fucking hear buzzing. Nice going up. No, I'm gone. Let's see if I can fast travel there. Make this a lot easier on us. Um, sort of. Okay. All right. I will meet you guys in a moment. Okay. So while my squad's screwing around back there, um, this is our new area, I guess. Don't remember if there was a wall here or not before, but I assume there was. Um. So yeah, time to enter into the vault. And uh, hopefully finish off the story in this area of the planet for now. Um, so what I was going to say about the differences uh, I noticed in the customization was Mass Effect 2 is good. I feel they took away maybe a little bit too much, um, but I understand why. It was. It's, it can be a little alienating when you have so much stuff to customize and worry about in a game. Um, there's a specific group of gamers that like that, and then there's ones most people aren't a big fan of a lot of micromanagement in games. Um, Mass Effect 3, I felt, was good as well. Okay. Uh, there was a bit more customization, uh, especially in, like, like your, just your outfits and stuff. Um, this game... I feel like this game halved it, again, from what 2 had. Like, I dislike that I can't... Um, that I can't just customize my squad mates. That's really bothersome to me. Um, so this gun is very strong, but it's very kicky. Um, this is the Valkyrie. I'm usually not a big fan of this one, but it's, it's doing its job, so maybe it's not so bad after all. Let's go explore over here and see if there's a uh, chest or anything I can use. Um, yeah, so I'm 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 pretty disappointed that there's uh, there's no real big customization in this game. It's disappointing to me. Um, at least for your squad mates. I I haven't tried my. Uh, my own outfit yet? So, much better so. On our side. I'm not sure why I need that though. I mean, I only fought a couple things. This is another thing I can use now. 
Alright. Um, what else was I gonna say? Yeah, testing Mass Effect was cool. Uh, the multiplayer was definitely fun. Am I supposed to be opening that with the thing over there that I was just at that I couldn't do anything with? Because if so, it's dumb. Okay. I know it's on the other side of the door. How do I open that door? Yep, the power goes through there. Can I use it? <sighs> I don't understand. Is there a little side entrance over here? This doesn't kill me. No, this kills me. Okay. Kind of losing my small amount of defense I was willing to give you here. Oh, these things? Several interface okay. It's weird. This I is new. The ones you need. There must be a trick to this. Let's give it a try. I don't know. Okay. Um. Alright, you're not really giving me much to go on here with this stuff. I'm just gonna... I mean, I do now see that there are numbers. So, if I can find one that just has one... Because the other ones have had two and four. There's four there. Sorry, three. Three here. Is there one over here? Okay, let's try one first. Yeah, alright. Two. Sorry, this is so slow. I'm. It's extremely hot in my room. I'm tired and haven't played in a while. No, that's four. And uh, this puzzle's kind of a little dumb. Just because it's something they're just introducing now. I mean, I, I guess I'm not very very far into the game. Well, I guess it's a step closer. But still. Prefer prefer all the puzzles to be introduced kind of early. I mean, I guess maybe because uh, it's a vault. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Take a look around. That's gonna kill me. Um. Yeah, so maybe I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, even though at this point I kind of probably shouldn't. Um, I'm gonna assume that uh, each vault has its own kind of puzzle or a set of a couple of different sort of puzzles so there's you know the ones with like the the runes and stuff to unlock but those are the things on the surface um okay well i was sweeping the room i figured there might be something in here but i found nothing is there any stuff to scan can i walk into that what happens if i walk into that? ammo and health for some reason there's a console okay Oh, one of these. Alright, let me just save before I do this, because I know I like to hit the wrong buttons when I'm doing them. And, uh... Okay. Um... I also bought some, uh, remnant decryption keys you can see in the bottom left and right. I've got four of them. I could just override it, but... I'll play around with it. Um, so I will be right back with the solution. I'll just fast-forward it through here.
Alright, so I think I got it here. Nice. Alright. Not too bad. What is that? Do skill points? That's... Okay. I'm okay with that. Um, still confused about the health and ammo thing. Um, what I do want to do is try and see what happens if I jump into this thing. So, let's find out. Yeah, it's death. Okay. Um, with that being said, I am out of time for this episode, so we will uh, begin sweeping the vault with uh, whatever ridiculous nanobots or whatever chemicals they are. They kill everything in here. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.